Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how you can reuse model sketches in an inventor drawing using a spot weld for an example in this case. Here, I have my assembly, and it's two sheet metal parts that I'm going to spot weld together. Now I could go to the weldment environment, and that would allow me to create a detailed step of each prep step, weld step, and post machining step if I needed to. But what if we just don't need that level of detail? We need something simple and effective. Here's an idea that we came up with. In this example, we're going to use two circles to represent spot welds on two assembled sheet metal parts. So I'll go ahead and on the 3D model tab, choose Create 2D Sketch and select the face where I want to place my spot welds. Now I'll go ahead and sketch in my two circles, giving them dimensions, project geometry where I might need to project geometry, and constrain wherever I need to constrain. And there we are, I've got my two spot welds. Let's go ahead and see how I can place them on the drawing. When I switch over to the drawing, we can see that I've already created the view. However, by default, the sketches don't automatically show. What I want to make sure to do is locate the assembly, right click on it, and choose Get Model Sketches. Once I do that, it'll show the unconsumed sketches for that model. And now I can go ahead and apply welding symbols, dimensions, and so on, to go ahead and convey the information I need to convey. And this will work on an assembly or on a part, either one is just fine. And any place a sketch can be used to convey information quickly and easily, it's absolutely valid to do this. So wherever you find a use for this, be sure to make use of it. So there you go, a quick tip on using sketches and taking them from a model and placing them onto the drawing. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.